we have a really, really interesting video today. This is going to be very exciting. Uh, we are comparing uh, dialects of Pashto. For a lot of people who don't know, I do want to explain that the Pashto language is spoken across Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, there are actually more native Pashto speakers in Pakistan than in Afghanistan, something that a lot of people outside the region don't know. So uh, naturally there are different dialects, uh, there are different accents, and that's basically what we're gonna focus on today. So before we get to everything, uh, we're gonna do a quick introduction and then uh, we'll start. So uh, Navid John, you can go ahead and introduce yourself first. Um, hello, I'm Navid from Afghanistan and I'll be speaking the standard Pashto. Uh, which is basically uh, taught at schools and universities, and also um, uh, it's spoken basically in news channels. Well, guys, I'm Harun from Pakistan, and I will be speaking in Peshawari dialect, uh, which is uh, uh, mostly, you know, uh, it's uh, spoken in Peshawar. Excellent. Okay, so what we have planned is uh, something more simple to start off the video and then we're going to do uh sentences that are a little bit more challenging later on so i'll ask you some words and all you have to do is uh you have to translate them into english and uh, the first word is uh Rige. Rige. okay it's uh common i guess uh we also say it in Peshawari. also we say it Rige. but uh I guess uh, there's also one other one which is uh, quite little easy and it is very much similar and it's uh, kind of extracted from Urdu. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Chavale. So it's it's a rice. So it's rice. Uh, it means rice and I've heard the word Chavale. Chavale yeah. uh, it's basically, you know, um, taken from Urdu. In Urdu they say Chawal, Chawal. which means rice as well. So Rije is rice, correct. I'll ask you this word. Uh, it's really difficult, let me tell you. And if you got it, you're actually excellent at Pashto. Um, the word is Likare. 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 If, if, if you want a hint, I can give you a hint. So, okay. so Lik means leak means writing, um, and the rest is your job. Lik means writing, and Kare, I guess it's uh, Kare. Okay, Kare means, I guess it's... it's, it's it's an object it is an object it's an object so obviously it's uh, an object with which we write so it's pen, or pen yes paper. correct bravo it's uh, it's an object yeah. and it is pen so uh, likari means pen uh, it's quite a new word by the way it has been introduced uh, recently to the standard pashto which unfortunately isn't really used uh, in the pashto community we we say kalam yeah we say kalam, kalam. Uh, which is an arabic term uh, anyways, let's head on to another word. Um, toop. 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 Uh, okay. There's something called tupa also, right? There's something called tupa. Tupa is like okay. a so, cannon, you know. A cannon. Okay, okay. So I guess it's it's a cannon. Uh, toop is a singular. Uh, well, n not really. Tupa is something different, and toop is something different. Uh, it's like Okay, um, I'll give you a hint. It's like it's it's an object. Okay, okay first of all, a noun, uh, something that people play with. You know, use it for playing. Now, I think I've already told you the answer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, go, I got it. You got it. Okay. Once I was playing with this uh, with this guy. You know, he said "tu uh, So, so it's like uh, throw me the ball. So yes. So it's like cricket right. ball, maybe. Um. Not necessarily cricket ball, any ball. It can be cricket ball or football, you know, base, baseball, anything. So um, there is this another word, sarag. I think it's quite easy, sarag. Sarag. Uh, okay, I have I have heard this word uh, quite many times in uh, in poetry. Yeah, sarag. Uh, sarag. Oh, sarag. Okay, that's okay, okay. is stressed. Totally it's it, it's it's something like brightness something related to brightness yes light uh, light yeah light okay. so um yeah you are quite close correct brightness and light they're technically the same thing so um last but not least this word is uh i think it's also kind of difficult mm -hmm. so it's palm larana palm larana 
palm there is something called palm okay palm kawa palm kawa means be focused or it's like uh, right to yeah, yeah. It's, it's, correct it's, it's like palm uh, kawa means be focused but it's like palm larana which is palm a noun larana. okay larana uh, uh, i guess it's uh, i guess the better uh, term will be like uh, attention maybe something it is the exact term oh. uh, okay. attention attention right. means you know palm um, means attention so uh, you've got all your words right except the toop uh toop uh, is basically it's it's a you know it's also used in persian mm -hmm. so it's a loan word in pashto from persian language they also say toop uh however we have adopted in in, in the standard uh version of uh, pashto language okay well uh, anyways um, i'm having some words to ask you uh, so okay go ahead. okay guys so it's my turn now okay let's see go ahead okay i have some words for you Gare. Uh, gare is like it's like a watch. No, 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 no it's not gare. Gare is the, that's watch, yeah. yeah. It's gare. Oh, okay, gare. Yeah, it's a it's a car, a vehicle. Yeah, it's a vehicle. Okay, it's it's a it's a uh, we can say motor as well and bike. Yeah, that's that's a better one. Okay, and we have uh, another thing is uh, I guess it's common. Dawat. Dawat is easy because it's used in Urdu. It's also used in uh, in Arabic. They say dawa. Dawah, sort of yeah, different. Dawat is uh, invitation. So in standard posture, we would say balana. You know, uh, I guess you've heard that word balana. Exactly. So yeah. dawat means invitation. Okay. And uh, what about uh, what is kui? Um, kui. It's not kiwi. It's kui. Yeah, <laughs> kiwi is like it's a food. Yeah. yeah. Kui. Uh, this is the first time I'm, you know, hearing this word. But uh, uh, well, I think I've heard this word. I'm not sure. Kui. Is it like the the kua in 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 Urdu? Kua? Exactly, so exactly. Like, so so that's well, well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we say in in standard Pashto? Uh, they say sa. 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 Okay. Not sa. Okay. Not sa. Sa is like you know breathing, to okay. breathe. Sa. You have to stress the first letter. Okay. Anyhow. Let's proceed to the next. Okay, next is also, I guess it's common. Capri. Capri is quite easy. It's called. Okay, no. Okay, I dare you to crack this one. Okay. What do we say for doctor? <laughs> doctor in English. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, do, oh, like, what a doctor is in English. How do we say doctor in English? Is it, is it a, a, a Pashto word? Doctor, <laughs> it's certainly it's you know certainly, no, you know it's, it, it, it's 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 extracted from English, but you know we in shower we use this word a lot like doctor. We we say doctora. Yes. Okay, but uh, what do we say in uh, in 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 like also some people they say tabib, but I guess tabib is also an Arabic word. Yes. What do we say like in in the standard Pashto? So in standard Pashto, uh, back in the day they used to say tabib, same as Arabic. However, they have uh, uh, created this new word. They have you know adopted. Okay. It's it's one's pool. So when spoo means somebody who is uh, aware of uh, diseases and can possibly cure them, uh, is uh, is a doctor. So we say uh, when spoo. And I think in, in Peshawi they say doctor. Yeah, they also say, and also they say uh, Hakim, I guess. Hakim is like somebody who he is, you know, uh, a specialist in uh, the uh, uh, Greek medicine, Yunani. That we, that yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's actually right. Okay. So we're heading on to next round which is about sentences and uh, he has to uh, guess the sentence he has to translate it uh, actually into english um are you ready yeah i'm ready okay since you're all set so uh, the first sentence is um da yo par maktlalay hewad day da yo par maktlalay hewad day what is country? Yes. Okay. Parmachtale. 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 Uh, is it something developmental, something or developed, maybe? Yes, developed. Okay, it's okay, it's developed. Okay, so the 
can you can you repeat it again da yaw par makhtlale hewad day so it's a, it's it's a developed country yes correct it is a developed country that's right so uh, the second sentence is zdakra the baryali tub kilida zdakra the baryali tub kilida okay zdakra means uh, uh zakra means learning something yes learning or education okay, that's education zakra the zdakra the baryali tub okay kilida baryali tub uh, means it means like uh, highness or maybe like success yes it means success yeah success so it's like okay education and it's success so the sentence is okay then what else we have zdakra the baryali tub kili the kili what is kili kili is something that we use it's like to open doors with how do we open doors oh okay you mean key okay so it's uh uh that was a hint by the way i knew it, it's key <laughs> so, okay so it's like uh education is the key to success absolutely right? okay. that's correct okay. that's correct the next sentence is rikhtun wali ghara taglarada rikhtun wali ghara taglarada rikhtun wali rikhtun wali aghtawi means uh, be truthful sort of yeah truthful or yeah okay it's what it's the same actually you have another synonym okay. for this word truthful you can use this word in problem truthful okay so it's truthful and we have uh, or like honesty taglara. honesty taglara means okay it's honesty okay taglara means uh, uh, a good path uh not a good path path is involved by the way but like it's it's not a good path um it's more like like uh you know a strategy or policy it means okay, like so, policy okay it's a policy so the okay can you repeat the sentence again so the sentence is okay um uh, this is this is a difficult one now okay so it's uh you've already got two words i think uh, it, okay, it should be easy for you now. and a good policy oh okay okay it's like honesty is the best policy yes okay so so what so, so means best, best or, okay. or better it, it best. Okay. yeah it depends on the context uh right. all right so you have answered correctly and the next sentence is the jwand mukha khushalida the jwand mukha khushalida the jwand jwand is life okay yeah it's, it's easy yeah. mukha Khushali mm, means uh, happiness. Yeah. Mukha is not really used in uh, the shower, I oh, believe. Because I'm, I'm hearing this word for the first time. Yes. So, can you give me a hint for this one? Mukha is like, um, let's say, uh, um, you have an aim or you have uh, a purpose, you know, it's purpose actually. Okay. So, purpose, okay. So, just like. Uh, mm, happy life is the purpose something like that uh, it's like uh where well, you're quite close but it, it means like the purpose of our lives is to be happy okay. so, so uh like the like... right um you're quite close so, so it was like uh, six out of ten maybe mm, well better than that okay. you did well honestly so um the next sentence is the body yawazitub gharade the bade malgartiya sakha yawazitub gharade it's it's, it's a bit long but uh, okay, this is a bit long but it's easy i guess it's like be better be in uh, be alone than being in a bad company yes you know it's it's, it's better to be alone than in a bad company correct correct so uh i'm done here and um you did really well really yes you did well bravo okay. Okay, so now so it's, uh, it's, it's your turn. You can ask me okay. um, your sentences. Let's see. Okay, so it's my turn now, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have this uh, word which is very, very common. It's the uh, Khudeda Bara. It's, it's so easy, for God's sake. 
Okay, okay. It's going good. Okay, so we have another one. The kill kawali the para tayarium. The kill 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 is like the the Urdu word. Yeah, it's 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 an Urdu word. Yeah. To play kill kawali the para tayar tayar is like to be ready. So I'm 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 ready to play. Yeah, exactly. So this is a common in Peshawar. And what about the standard one? Uh, in standard they what say is, what we say for the kale. Kale is like loba, loba which I think you know it's. it's yeah, it's yeah, loba, kale. loba, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And for uh, tayar is chamtu. Tayar is easy. It's like it's used in Afghanistan as well. Okay. And in, in so many places, you know, tayar. Yeah. Okay. So next one, okay. Zida pe khawar sara taluk satam. Taluk is like uh, you know uh, connection. The place or the place you belong to. So is that the Peshawar Sara Taluk Satam? It means I belong to Peshawar. Okay, so I guess the Peshawar is very easy language, I guess. Yeah. Okay, N let's yeah. proceed to the next one. Okay. Simple. Because it's you're easy. cracking it's, it very easily. It's, uh, it's actually the <laughs> because I was taking time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Next we have is Masara Mukabla Kawi. Masara Mukabla Mukabla in so this word is in Arabic. They say Mukabla is interview in Arabic. Uh, in in Pashto, Mukabla is like, I guess, is in it? Urdu we say like, Mukabla, Aapne Mukabla karni hai mere saath? Oh, so, so, so is that Mukabla? So it's, yeah. uh, it's like uh, competition. competition. Will you compete me? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, will you compete me? Okay, okay. The last last one we have is Madad uh, Kawalisham. It's quite easy. It may help you. Madad is like, uh, it's, it's also in Persian, you say madad, um, and in Urdu, of course, and in Hindi, they say uh, madad. So, um, and that's that's the influence of watching Bollywood movies. Exactly, exactly. If you, yeah. if, if, if you watch Bollywood movies, you you'll be able to, you know, uh, get those words easily. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it means may I help you. So, all right, guys. So I think we have done. Uh, we are done for today. So it was a nice competition between me and him, and uh, uh, not me and him, but uh, particularly it was between uh, standard Pashto and the Peshawari Pashto. So there's quite uh, there's a lot of differences, I guess. Uh, the standard Pashto is not used, which is sadly uh, it's not used nowadays. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. So the thing is, actually, there are so many dialects in Pashto. There are more than 20 dialects in. Pashto. It has uh, a lot of influence of other languages on it. So in Afghanistan, we have some, um, you know, I'm talking about the dialects in the standard Persian. So we have so many uh, loan words from um, Persian we use in our everyday life and English, of course. Uh, however, um, in Pakistan, they use uh, Urdu terms quite often in English. Yes. Yes, uh, and I hope uh, all those who are watching this video, they have enjoyed it. Um, so I'm uh, passing over uh, to uh, uh, Bahadur and uh, thanks a lot.